Hello, I'm Robert and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make some low poly rocks in Blender. So let's jump into it. So first of all I'm going to start off by deleting my camera and my light source, although it's not necessary if, we'll, if you want to use that later. And I'm going to enable screencast keys, but you don't have to do this, it's just so you know what keys I'm using, because some people actually requested me. Uh, they told me that I went too fast, so if you miss a step or something, you can just look down here and whatever I'm pressing uh, will show up, okay? So, I'm going to go into edit mode, and, well, pretty much, well, you've obviously seen the thumbnail, but these rocks are pretty much, like, based on a rectangular shape, which kind of sticks out of the ground. So it's pretty cool if you want to go for like that style, it's pretty nice. So I'm going to start off by um, moving this up on the z-axis and we want to do a bevel, okay? So pretty much all our rocks are going to be based on this shape and it might look a little bit ugly at first, but once we have a lot of them uh, go, uh, in our scene, it'll look pretty nice. So I'm going to start off by making this one a little bit thinner, duplicating one, making a bit thicker and also taller. And I want to rotate this one on the X. I want to move that over there. And we want to do the same thing, but we want to make this a bit lower. And by the way, uh, when you're working with objects that are uh, that have a rotation like where we are right now so let's say we want to scale this on the Z let's actually go into the normal and let's say we want to scale this on this Z not like the the global Z which is just sticking up we want to um, scale this on this Z or <clears throat> excuse me, or on this Y or on the X axis, which is relative to that object. What you, what you want to do is, uh, well, obviously press scale. And when you press Z, you'll see it's going straight up. But if you press Z twice, it will work on the relative Z. So it's a pretty good thing to know. It's pretty useful. You'll actually use it a lot once you get a king of it. Uh, so what we want to do now is, well, let's move this a little bit and let's make another one and let's make this lower. Maybe even thinner on the X, actually. And we can make many, many more. And if we, if you push it, position them correctly, it will look really nice. Trust me. And for this one, I'm actually going to move this one, this down. I want you to select these edges. So con uh, press Alt and just select on one of the edges so you can select uh, the whole loop. And you want to move down with the Z, okay? And let's actually scale this a little bit. And you might be thinking, well, that looks actually kind of ugly. Uh, I forgot to mention that what we're going to do later is do a Boolean with this face so pretty much this face will represent the terrain in either your scene or any game you're making okay so that's why it doesn't look as weird so what pretty much what we're going to do is just cut out all these unnecessary pieces okay so let's keep going let's make another one and let's make this smaller maybe even thinner actually Actually, that looks pretty good. Let's add some more of those. We need more smaller ones. There are a lot of big ones going on. So like this, we can have something that kind of contrasts with what we already have. So let's make this bigger. And that's starting to look pretty good. So we do want some more things going on around here. So let's make another one, because it kind of looks empty. Although in the real world, it well, rocks are pretty random 
and they're all they come in all shapes and forms so it doesn't really matter that much although if you think it doesn't look too natural you might want to change a few things so playing a bit with the rotation uh, can help you quite a bit So as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm playing with the uh, X axis, and actually I should do that with the Y as well, but not too much, like very subtle differences. Okay, so that's looking pretty nice. So what we could do is actually move this over here. Let's try to make this more compact now, that we have a lot of rocks and we have our basic layout I guess we could call that the layout let's just uh, let's just try to make this as compact as possible and it doesn't really matter if it's um, colliding but it's something you might want to try to avoid and it's okay for example with this rock uh, because you don't really see it since this other one is kind of in the way So let's move this as well So as you can see it looks uh, pretty nice and uniform So what we want to do now is select all these rocks So you can use the C tool to select everything and you want to deselect the plane. So now what we want to do is control J and we don't have an active object. So by pressing shift and right click, just click on any other rock and do control J so we can join all those objects into one. Okay, so now we want to go into the plane and we want to go into modifier tab, add Boolean and I believe it's different. Let me check. So if we go into wireframe actually we need to select the object so that looks to work and actually now I'm doubting if it if I should apply the boolean in the other object although I guess we can try okay yeah we definitely need to apply the boolean in the other object sorry guys my bad so let's select uh, the rocks, let's go into boolean, let's select the plane, and we want difference. So if we go into a wireframe, you can see it all has like some weird lines going on here, which are actually uh, from the cut, I guess you could say, that uh, the plane um, making with the rocks because they're colliding so that's pretty much what a boolean does it kind of cuts and so we want to do apply so let's select this uh, face and if we go into right ortho or left ortho or whatever we can delete uh, all these so go into wireframe and we want to get the box selection tool by pressing B and you want to select all these and you want to press X faces and I'm not sure if I selected everything no I did not so I missed these so much make sure you are not missing any and we have a weird edge going on here which you just want to delete that and you might have more Although it might not be the case. Oh, there we go. So that seems to be everything. And now another thing you could do is play like with um, the position of these edges. So you can actually move these. But for that I am going to go to global. Because I already applied my boolean. And I don't want to have things like this. Okay, that's a pretty exaggerated example but you know what I mean so you might want to move these a little bit especially on these smaller ones and that seems to break 
um, so let's delete that face which is actually not necessary let's see if we can remove this now there we go and you probably want to do this especially like with the tops because they're very similar so you can achieve um, different results and in some of these you can even delete the tops and do something like what we've did with this smaller one so that's going to wrap up this video if you enjoyed it make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any suggestions or any questions or want to learn about any topic regarding blender make sure to comment down below and i'll try to make a video for you thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye